Hello everyone again, my name is Sifi Dean, your science instructor for this course. I have shocking statement. Einstein wasn't the smartest man in the world. Uh -oh. Do you know this? Is it a surprise? He wasn't the smartest man in the world. Let's take a look on the IQ level of Einstein comparing to other scientists. Here is the IQ level of Einstein. It's 160. And it's in the average of most of human. Newton was smarter. The IQ of Newton was 190. But this is our genius. This is William James Cedis. The smartest man in the history. But would you like to know your IQ level comparing to them? Hey, don't be shy. Maybe it's close. But how do I know Mr. Safe? By a test. Here, I have a test for you. This is one of the IQ questions that can determine your IQ level. Let's try to solve it and then find the result. In front of you, a question. And these are the answer. These are the answers. Would you like to try? Look at the question. You have four answers. Try to pick up one of them to be here. You have a few seconds. You can stop the video, take time in thinking, and then tell me your answer. Okay, was it hard? Let's find out. If your answer was this one, this is totally right answer. But how, Mr. Save? I didn't even understand the question. This is simple mathematical equation. Let's take a look. Can you count? How many circles do we have here? Excellent. Three. How many lines do we have? Two. And how many triangles do we have? Four. Let's add them to each other. Three plus two plus four equals? Smart. <laughs> Nine. How many triangles do we have here? Four. Plus how many lines? Three. Plus how many circles do we have? Two. Equals? Nine. It's the same result of the previous line, but in three different shapes. Here, how many circles do we have? We have four. And how many triangles do we have? Two. So the other numerical value that should be added to them must equal nine. But what's the missing shape? Here we have circles, triangles. So we need to add three, but lines, because the lines are not found here. Where are the three lines? Over there. Before taking the other question, I need to mention something. The time that you spend in the previous question to catch the right answer known as reaction time or response time. It was long time, but this is at the beginning only. Our nervous system helped us to understand by practicing. This is why I'm sure you're gonna find the right answer of the following question in a shorter reaction time, in a short response time. Let's try. Here is the question and here are the answers. Try to figure out which one of them represents the right answer. Stop the video, take time in thinking and calculate the time that you are taking to see if your answer was this one this is totally right answer and if you catch the right answer in a shorter time that means you are improving your brain is getting better so here the shapes are getting closer to each other until they be inside each other the same here they are moving until they be inside each other here the shapes are getting closer so they're gonna be inside each other excellent amazing idea and I catch it really in a shorter time it feels like I'm getting smarter but what's the link between this and our lesson is this just a game no this is our lesson uh, what happened at the beginning of this lesson is the same what is happening in your life every day if you have a hard mission hard question don't give up your life is full of problems. 
Are you going to give up by just trying once? No, try to understand, try to practice. And now tell me, which system inside our body is responsible for this process, for thinking, translation, understanding, how does it work? Exactly, it's the nervous system. Our body is full of systems in front of you, many systems, but the one that responsible for processing the information, understanding what is happening, is the nervous system, which is made up of the brain and other organs. But can you expect how many organs do we have? Right. We have three main organs. Brain, which is the location of the brain, and the skull, and the head here. Right. What's the function of the brain? It's the main control center of the body. It processes the information, understand, translate, helps you in everything, given orders. The second organ lies in front of you, which is the spinal cord. It's like a connection between the brain and the other body organs. But what is the location? Where is the spinal cord inside our body? In the middle here? Not exactly. It's inside the backbone. But why? Give reason. The spinal cord passes within the backbone. Mm, bones, it's hard. Maybe for protection? Yes. The spinal cord is so sensitive organ. Like the brain, it's so sensitive. So the brain is covered by the bones of the skull to protect it. It's the same for the spinal cord. It passes inside the backbone, in the middle of the backbone to, to be protected because the backbone protects the spinal cord from anything could happen. The last kind of organs here are the small connections between the brain and the spinal cord. The spinal cord and the brain and the body, we need to connect every single part of the body with a connection. These small connections like wires to connect everything, to connect every organ, these connections are known as nerves. Let's study them one by one. Remind me what was the function of the brain? The main control center of the body. What's the function of the spinal cord? It connects the brain with other body parts, with the help of nerves. Uh, where is the location of the spinal cord? Inside the backbone. Also, it's responsible for something known as reflex action. What does it mean, reflex action? Do you remember when you try to touch something you really yourself with drawing your hand quickly like this? This is a reflex action to protect you. The reflex action is happening in a time known as reaction time. Do you remember this word? The reaction time, the time taken to respond according to what is happening in the environment. The nerves, the nerves are surrounding the body organs. They are found in every single piece inside your body. Every part in your body is surrounded by some nerves. They are responsible for taking messages from the environment and send it to the other nerves, which are sending them to the brain. For example, we feel the presence of coldness through our skin. In our skin, we have sensory receptors some nerves feel that it's cold outside they take this message and give it to the brain the brain understand it's cold outside so i have to think about solution to take a decision which is wearing a jacket maybe it send a message to the spinal cord and the nerves to take you to your room find the jacket and wear it this is another example to simplify what is happening exactly in our nervous system. What do you see here? Water. Your eyes sees the water, but it doesn't drink. But it has sensory receptors. As we mentioned before, every single part in your body has a nerve. So the nerve takes the message from the eye and delivers it to the brain. The brain understands what is this? It's water. Mm, I'm thirsty, I need to drink, but I cannot drink, I cannot move, but I can make him move. Send the message to the nerves that are found in your muscles to hold the cup of water and start drinking. And now you are not thirsty anymore. This is how your nervous system works. This happens 
in a short time. This time known as response time or reaction time. Is it long time? No. And a shorter your response time, a shorter you survive. Remember the Egyptian gerbil. It jumps quickly. It takes reflex action so quickly when the snakes start attacking them. That helps the Egyptian gerbil to survive because it moves very fast. It translates what is happening really quickly. Small assessment for you. Would you like to tell me what is going to happen here? How does your nervous system work in such condition, in a such situation? I guess you catch it right. The boy will smell the pizza. So the nerves that found in the nose will deliver the message to the brain. It's delicious. <laughs> it's tasty. And I'm hungry. I need to eat, but I cannot move. I cannot eat. I have to give him an order. So the message is sent back from the brain to the nerves that found in your hand and your mouth to take the slices of pizza and eating them. Is it delicious? Finally, I have other questions to make sure your reaction time is improving. So don't give up when you feel like it's hard mission. Keep trying. Life is full of problems. Don't give up. Just keep trying. Stop the video. Tell me which answer is the right answer in the comment below. <coughs> this is the second question. If you catch the right answer of the second question, don't forget to tell me in the comment below. This is the third question. The same. Try to figure out which answer is the right one and tell me in the comment below. The last question. And if you catched all of the questions right in the comment below, I'm going to pick up you and send you a message including your gift. <laughs> Thank you. That was the lesson, the nervous system. Don't forget to make like, subscribe if you didn't make it. Leave your questions and your answers in the comment below and see you. Goodbye.